Hi there, feels really nice to have you back on the Articulate Storyline Tutorials. We had started an interesting discussion on navigation. The reason why I say this is interesting is because everything that we see on the screen is created by us. The color scheme, the background, the uh, navigation panel and the navigation button. All right. This is what we did in our last discussion. We brought in the navigation buttons, but it's just that I have tweaked up the screen a little bit. I have changed the navigation buttons to make them look more presentable. And I've also brought in these elements, that is the uh, navigation panel and the buttons onto the first screen. Right. Otherwise, the the storyboard is where or how we left it in the in the first discussion okay now what we are going to do in this discussion is to one see the significance of the cc text box and also to see how we are going to make uh, the better use of this navigation panel here and two we are going to activate these navigation buttons so this is what we are going to do in this uh, session all right now before we proceed let's save this file in its designated place as navigation part 2 once we save this file we'll be set to go all right here we go now we'll uh, start our discussion with the CC text the reason why we have this CC text here is because the learner should be able to track the voiceover text if they want they may like to do so in two situations one when they don't have the headphones in which case they will not be able to listen to the voice of the text as it happens because the on-screen text for all practical purposes it's going to be just the gist of the voice of the text and therefore that explanatory part of whatever that happens on the screen if the user wants to track they should be able to do so right and second reason why they may like to track the voice over text is when they find the diction or the accent of the voice over artist a bit difficult to follow right so for these two reasons it becomes really really critical that we have this feature on on the screen right more so when we go the customized route all these things become really critical because we have to create all these so that's the reason why we are spending uh, this this kind of a time and effort on uh, understanding the significance of the cc text box right but one thing we are not going to discuss in this uh, discussion one thing that we are not going to look into is how we are going to generate the cc text that is slightly out of scope because it's quite advanced and we will discuss that when the right time comes okay and by the same reason we are also not going to enable or activate this icon which is the transcript icon uh, for the cc text because once again that comes into the technical route and we will also keep this in abeyance for the moment all right okay so now now that we have discussed the significance of the cc text box we are going to see the kind of provision we are going to make for this all right so i am going to insert shape okay and if you remember whatever that we did in our first discussion on navigation i am going to repeat those steps now i am going to set the height of this box to 27 you may like to know why the height of the navigation panel here is 30 as you can see here so i'm setting it to 27 so that it can compactly sit itself in this area you are going to see how that is going to work all right now i am going to set the width to 550 that is done and i would like to do a, a few more things on this one i would not like to have any fill and outline seems a bit weightier so I'm going to make it look thin okay and I'm also going to change the color to a more harmonious one to sync with the rest of the screen okay so now I'm going to bring this in here into the navigation panel as you can see okay now you see that the outline is visible but at the same time the box is not glaringly conspicuous you see that right now I'm going to align this to the left and I am going to ensure that it is aligned to the middle of the navigation panel. Yes, perfect. It looks neat. I am also going to populate this box onto the first screen. I'm just copy pasting it. It is also done. 
all right so now this is where the cc text will happen this is the area when the user clicks this okay when when uh, the user would like to track the voice of the text they click this and the cc text happens here in sync with the voice over they click this once again it gets switched off right so the discussion on the cc text box is done now we are going to get on to the exciting part of this activating these navigation panels for all practical purposes the buttons are here but they have to function that's what we are going to see now before we get into this a macro view of where we stand now we have just two screens the the uh, miniature context that we are discussing here has only two screens and it's going to make the understanding part of the whole thing much easier right now as far as the first screen is concerned this second screen is the next screen and for the next screen that is for the second screen the first screen is the previous screen so we are going to activate the next and the previous navigation button now and we are going to see how that is going to work and one more thing that we have is the home button all right now for the second screen the first screen happens to be the home screen right so when you get to have more number of uh, screens you will see how the whole thing works all right now for the for the home screen also we have this home button so we are going to see how we are going to relate and understand uh, the functioning of this as we go along so let's start with activating this next button we are on the first screen now we should be able to go to the next screen the second screen and this navigation icon is what is going to do the job for us okay so let's activate it now i am taking my mouse to the extreme of the screen i am dragging it so my trigger panel is taken off the shelf it is open for me to handle it okay to make use of it i am going to click this okay this is selected now i am going to create a new trigger for this one as you can see here the description okay i am clicking this and the trigger wizard window opens for me now it gives me all these options one it wants me to select the kind of action that i want on this trigger and it wants me to select the slide where i want to go to okay and it also wants me to select when i want this action to happen okay so now let's see the options here wow this is quite overwhelming don't you think i mean we really think that it is as simple as that but it is not it is quite complex we can uh, create so many uh, we have so many actions to choose from but now we are not going to look at all of these because it's going to really uh, really really weigh us down okay so we are going to look for the one that we want we have two slides here so we want to be able to jump to the slide that we want and therefore we are choosing this option okay now which slide do i want to be able to jump to from the first screen is this the previous slide or the next slide i want to be able to go to the next slide because i'm on the first screen all right so i am picking up this now for the moment i'm not choosing these choosing any of this okay now i'll tell you why i'm not uh, you know settling myself on this one i'm going to tell you that shortly so for the moment i am picking up next slide okay now when i want to be able to uh, go to the next screen when i click this okay when my user click this clicks this i want the action to happen so this is perfectly in place so i am going to say okay all right so we are done as you can see here right the uh, navigation has been enabled on this button and you see this highlighted by this blue band you see this it is not highlighted and therefore no action on this is yet so this one is on and we are perfectly okay now let's go to the second screen from the second screen i want to be able to go to the first screen and therefore i want this previous button to be enabled at the moment all right so i am going to repeat this process of creating a new trigger okay action jump to slide yes slide next slide no it is going to be the previous slide right and action when does this have to happen when the user clicks perfect so we are done now the next thing that we are going to do is to activate this home button 
Now, as far as our miniature context is concerned, for us, the home button is the first screen, and we are going to create a new trigger for this one. I'm going here, jump to slide, yes. Which slide? Now you see, I'm not going to look at this, though for all practical purposes, the home screen happens to be the previous slide. I'm not going to look at this. I am going to pick this one up. The reason why I'm going here is because if you are going to have, say, 20 screens, from the 20th screen, if you want to activate the home screen, this is the area that you will make use of. From the 20th screen down below, you will come up to this screen and you will activate this, which is exactly what I'm doing here. All right. So I have picked up module objectives as my home screen. I am going to say, OK. All right. So we are done. Now, here is an interesting situation. There is a home button on the home screen itself. So what I'm going to do? I am going to, for all practical purposes, have this on. Okay, I am going to create the trigger, jump to slide, which slide? The same slide, module objective slide, and I am going to say OK. So even if I'm going to be on the home screen, if I'm going to press this, I will be landing back on the same screen. Okay, so now this is quite interesting. And I have, I have something more to tell you on this one. I will tell you that shortly. All right. OK, so we are done. We have three navigation buttons enabled. OK, the previous button on the second screen. OK, and the next button on the first screen and the home button on both the screens. Now, here is another interesting situation. This is quite interesting, isn't it? I mean, the way we are going about contemplating the understanding of the whole thing is pretty interesting here. Now. On the first screen, we have enabled the next button. We are yet to do anything on the previous screen, previous button. It's because this is the first screen and we don't have any previous screen. All right, that is quite obvious. So we don't need any specific mention on that. But the question is, why do we have to have this? We don't need this, right? So we have two options, one to knock it off. That means the user will not even see this icon this button and therefore it makes it easier for them to uh, you know do the necessary navigation but then there is a there is a there is a, a chance it's it's not that there is a chance the thing is the the consistency on the way the navigation buttons will be lost right this screen will have this button the next screen will not have another button and therefore it will be chaos so we don't want that to happen we want to maintain the consistency that said, the option that we have here is not to enable this, not to activate this. So which means even if the user is trying to click this, nothing will happen. So that way we are safe. All right. So that's the reason why we are not going to activate this one. And same is the case on the screen. We are just on a miniature scenario, as I said, and therefore for all practical purposes, we are on the last screen. And therefore, when the user clicks this next button, they would not be able to go anywhere because this is the last screen. And therefore, as we discussed, the same reasoning that we discussed on the first screen is going to apply here. We are not going to knock this off. We are going to maintain this, but we are not going to activate it. All right. So we are going to leave it as it is. All right. So we are done with enabling the navigation buttons. And now we are going to see how this is going to work. All right. So I am going to go have a preview of these two screens but before that i have to check one more thing i just have to ensure that the default navigation buttons are not enabled as you can see here in the second screen they are not enabled but in the first screen they are which means if i'm going to publish my course this way i will be seeing both the default navigation buttons and the ones that i created both being populated and we don't want that seen just for our understanding we are going to see how it's going to look like all right so i am going to preview this scene not this slide okay if i'm going to preview the slide i will not the navigation will be locked i will not be able to go outside the screen and therefore I'm picking this up therefore all the screens that are in the scene will be populated and therefore the navigation becomes possible for me so here we have both the screens okay so we are on the home screen you see this the default navigation buttons are enabled and we also have our customized buttons here so duplication right we don't want this so I'm going to close the preview for the moment 
and I am going to uncheck the default controls here and now when we preview the scene we will not see these buttons right as you can see now this is gone and we are perfectly safe now we are going to see how the navigation buttons are going to work right I am going to press the navigation button then the next navigation button now and we are going to land on the second screen here we go the ability to communicate effectively is the bottom line of any business anywhere wow this is beautiful right so whatever that we have enabled the action we have enabled on the trigger that we have enabled on the navigation button seems to be working perfectly fine for us perfect now we are going to see how the previous button on the screen is going to work mind you there is no action enabled here right so you can see the difference right this is not enabled but this one is so we are going to check out the previous button now I'm going to click this perfect so the home screen the previous screen is back on now I am going back to the second screen once again the ability to communicate effectively is the bottom line of any business anywhere right so now we are going to see whether the home navigation button is going to do its job for us I'm going to click this Wow I am back on the home screen now I am going to check the home screen on the home screen itself now if I'm going to click this I'm going to land back here and you will see how the action happens on this seek bar right you see the screen is getting loaded you may not see any action here but you see that it is getting loaded the way the seek bar uh, reacts to our action right so we are done with the navigation buttons and I feel all the more powerful because I am creating everything the way I want it and it's all working perfectly fine for me this is brilliant stuff I'm really excited about it so this is what is going to happen for you as well all right so what you are going to do is to go back to your storyboard uh, play around with activating the navigation buttons on lines of whatever that we discussed here and once you also get as excited as me you will come back to the next part of our discussion on navigation and when we get back together we are going to discuss another exciting feature of this beautiful tool articulate storyline I just love it for, for the kind of flexibility and freedom that it gives me to to mold the screens the way I want this is something really spectacular for me all right spectacular in the literal sense of the term because we are seeing things happening on the screen and that is fantastic for us right so now as I was telling you when we get back on the third part of this discussion on the navigation we are going to discuss another interesting feature states you remember I made a mention of this uh, states this this function and I also told you that we were not going to discuss that and now the right time has come so we are going to discuss the the, the uh, beautiful function of this uh, feature of articulate storyline when we get back in our next discussion all right so you go back to your storyboard as I said have great fun with activating the navigation buttons and we will catch up in the part three of the discussion very soon all right till such time that we catch up it is a big tata from me you take very good care of yourselves bye bye